quick video to look at the possibilities of uh, steering wheel mounted buttons for the HCH1 IMA CNC. Um, here we have the uh, switch assembly from the steering column and this is the coil spring that allows the transmission of uh, electrical power through the uh, steering column up to the steering wheel. This is from a manual car and some interesting things to notice about that. I've tested a few connections and it is going to be possible to do it with the standard HCH1 IMA CNC that we have now. Now first of all on the steering wheel end of the coil spring we have this connector here and that's nine way. First four on the right hand side are the uh, SRS system connections, we won't be interfering with those in any, any way. But the five on the left hand side <coughs> are spare, only one is used in the manual car and you can see there's a wire attached to that, that's the horn. So that gives us four wires, which is exactly what we need for the uh, HCH1 IMA CNC buttons, as they are now. Uh, one of those will be ground, and then we'll have up, down, and uh, cancel button <coughs> return. So that's easy to do, feed them through. Now at the other end of the coil spring, we have a different connector to deal with. This is a bit more tricky. Um, it's the one on the left-hand side, you can see here, with five pins in it. The one on the right there is the... Um, SRS button, uh, SRS connection, sorry, which we won't be interfering with. So we have to um, basically use some uh, uh, SIL 0.1 inch connectors sockets in there to connect onto those pins and we'll have to splice into the horn wire but we'll also need four wires for our own use. So it can be done, it's going to be a bit fiddly but um, it's certainly not impossible. Now if we then look at the steering wheel itself steering wheel looks like it's going to be quite uh, quite good for this. Now I'm going to mount my buttons, uh, all of them on the right hand side here. I'm going to have one, two, three. And uh, it looks like we can feed the wires up, just up under here, the edge of the uh, leather trim here. So we should be able to do that without um, damp you know, having to split the leather trim here. And if we're clever, and we just cut out our four holes for the actual button to protrude through, we could possibly, if we just put under the lacing here slightly, um, slide our switch assembly in there <coughs> so it's actually held down by the um, pressure of the leather um, covering there, tautness of that. We just have our three little switches there on a little tiny uh, printed silver board. So that looks like it's going to be feasible. Mm, I've got my car back now and uh, uh, here it is in the garage at the moment. I'm just fettling it to do some bits and pieces. I'm hoping to install IMA CNC uh, today or tomorrow certainly um, and look at the steering wheel buttons over the next couple of days. So the steering wheel buttons uh, certainly look feasible for the uh, manual HGH1 IMA CNC, hope that's uh, interesting.